For 25 years, the wagons the CPC had left it all on the track of the Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds. The exhibition is proud of being a longtime host of the CPCA Finals, 25 years of memories, stories, and partnerships. Uh, prior to 1984, we had a standard half-mile racetrack. Uh, we've seen some opportunities to maybe do some horse racing as well as looking to approach and do more chuck wagon races. We've seen it necessary to rebuild this racetrack. Uh, again, Tom Halstead was very instrumental. Another gentleman who was very instrumental in the designing and building of this racetrack was, was Bob Campbell. And we rebuilt this track to what we're now being told is one of the best racetracks in Western Canada. We're very proud of that fact. Bob spends and his uh, team spend hours and hours grading, harrowing, preparing the track for the races. It's very integral. We try to get, have the track as even and as possible as we can and, and we want to make sure it's safe to run these horses and we have done that for so many years and we do get accredited for that all the time. The grounds in the back has really developed nice, you know, they put water and all that stuff and uh, the track itself, they updated that quite substantially over the years and, and then the crowds are just that much bigger now, you know, at uh, the bigger grandstand that they have. We've had always had a good time in Lloyd Minster, you know, and uh, had a lot of good memories for 25 years. Well, the highlight battle of the day was the battle between Labacan and Turnier for the association title. Another battle going on. So I, I've been part of the CPC radio network for, for 11 years. And, and, and honestly, when I, when I moved to Lloydminster, even before, going back to this, when I moved to Lloydminster in 89, I knew nothing about chuck wagon racing, nothing at all. Uh, it was my honor to hang out with a George Norman, the late George Norman, uh, to a buddy Binsmiller, to a Brian Labacan, and educate myself on the sport. And quickly, I realized what the sport was about and, and how passionate they were towards it and, and, and fell in love with the horses myself. And, and, I, and I, I think that, you know, leads to now 25 years here. I think my wife and I have been season ticket holders for at least 25 years. Oh, I like to see them come around the barrels. I like to see good uh, horsemanship and good drivers. I like going to Lloyd because uh, there's good view. We have a seat away up high. We can see the back of the track from there. We're right in line with the finish line, and so it's a nice evening. We sat there some years with a tarp over our head in the rain. I mean, those people do a lot of work for our entertainment. You know, we always go through the wagon camp, and we were sponsored. Uh, we sponsored luncheons and things, and we'd go down there, and they'd patronize. So we know lots of drivers and really enjoyed it over the years. I think it's just the the rush of the speed and the interest in seeing horses run, uh, whether it's reminiscent of gone by days when people remember when they used to drive horses or um, drive horses to school or use horses to farm with. I know that that generation of people that did that are, are still very enthused with coming and, and I'm thinking that our, our newer fan base is probably interested in something that's um, a bit of a different kind of sport and everything. There's speed involved and and uh, I think it's just the maybe the just the rush of the speed uh, that you get from watching races. You can tell as soon as uh, the race week starts it's just that vibe in the air of the wagon for in town and it just the, the talk is there and like the pancake breakfasts and uh, uh, the advertising, uh, the radio, just everything just going into place and I think this, that part of it, it just makes it excitement for everybody and everybody knows at that time of year, it just brings everybody to, uh, together to enjoy the show. You know, they were very satisfied with racing where they were and I believe they came from Craven area up to here. Uh, so it's just like any new bid or any new process, uh, people are always maybe somewhat concerned that is the market ready for it, uh, is our track good shape, you know, are, do we have enough volunteers to run and uh, manage a huge event of this nature? The event was destined to be great. The small group of staff and volunteers who initiated the bid were incredible. Tom Halstead and Larry Kirby, along with General Manager Mike Sidork, led the charge, pushing their committees of peers to put together the winning bid. You know, we started talking about uh, bidding for the finals around the boardroom table. 
both Tom and both Larry immediately said, yes, we can do this. This is a great opportunity for Lloydminster Exhibition. This is a great opportunity for Lloydminster and region. And those two fellas dug in, worked hard. Our first year kickoff was a huge success. Uh, great crowds, we were, it just, it, and it has grown from there. I remember covering the first year here and, and wondering how many people are gonna come. And, and it's like, wow, there's this many people. And even back in the day, when I was first introduced to, to doing chuck wagons on radio, and I filled in one Saturday night just because I could, and I kind of said to, like, really, this wagons on radio is not going to work. <laughs> and, and 11 years later, it, it is what it is. It's simply amazing of, of the loyal and the passionate following of the fans, the sponsors, and, and the people that to, to make the sport go. And the Lloyd X has been the one that's been driving that force for 25 years and let's hope there's another 25 years ahead. It has been a long time since the big chuck wagons have been in Lloydminster, eight years to be precise, and it appears the Northern Finals may call the Border City home for more than just this year. The track will be fast. The track is actually a little hard right now. Mike was mentioning they're going to add some sand, do a little bit of blading, hard track, fast times. It should be just something else, I'll tell you. It's been a long time, eight years since we've had the professional uh, thoroughbred chuck wagons here. The big boys are back and it's, we hope we can keep them here for another five years or 10 years or whatever. Down the road. You're We're looking at, at a long-term contract arrangement with the uh, in, uh, Northern Professional Chuck Wagon Association. First uh, best memory I've got is actually uh, when we had the first show. Uh, you're always a little bit apprehensive about how that is going to go and a little worried and how is everyone going to perform and everything. Well, the drivers and outriders performed beyond all expectations and presented a show that was really top rate and I was extremely proud of everybody who participated. The track, Halstead Downs, is one of the best 5 8 tracks in the sport. Carefully crafted and maintained by Valley Sea Construction to ensure a clean and safe ride for drivers and outriders. Halstead Downs is named after the late great Tom Halstead a community man, lifelong volunteer of the Lloyd X, and a co-chair of the inaugural Lloydminster Finals. Tom Halstead was a, a, just a great individual who supported this board and many other ag societies in the region as well. He helped uh, with the chuck wagons back earlier when we used to run chuck wagon races during the fair, and he was very instrumental in providing, getting volunteers lined up to rebuild the racetrack, uh, build the pipe hub rail around. He donated a bunch of his personal time. He donated his own personal pipe to build the hub rail. It was a, a real dedicated, long time volunteer for this association. We also inducted Tom into our Lloyd Mr. Agricultural Hall of Fame for all his support to this community. And with the blood, sweat and tears Tom put into, it was very fitting to have named this racetrack Halstead Downs. In 25 years, a family can grow. The CPCA Finals family grows each year with new faces in racing, outriding, wagon families and crew, new volunteers and committee members, new Lloyd X staff, and of course, new fans. You know what? It, 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 I always use that one word is that passion and, and I think uh, there's a lot of fans that uh, and volunteers that kind of go hand in hand. Uh, you're a fan of the sport, you become a volunteer of the sport, you want to help that sport, you want to help the finals here and, and I think there's so many different duties behind the scenes to make any chuck wagon race uh, possible uh, from the 50-50 sellers to your timers uh, to your judges uh, to the track announcer. Uh, you have so many different people that come together to pull off this where it's, it's one minute on around the track every race, but it takes so much work behind the scenes before and after the race to make it possible. And I will be honest and say that's been the easiest part of my job of getting volunteers to work, but the staff, people in the office, like the work that goes through it, that every behind the scene work that nobody realizes, without that, this show wouldn't go on. Our committee members, uh, who are all volunteers now, are the ones that come to mind. It, it's, it just seems like our group just stays together, like it's hard to believe that it's been 25 years and the same people are kind of involved in this. The NPCA has been racing since the mid-50s. In that time, they have undergone a number of changes. The latest will be this summer, as they'll be sporting a new look 
and a new name. We thought a new name would uh, certainly give everybody the impression that we were out for changes and a new look. The change came at a recent general membership meeting and received unanimous approval from the membership. It's a move they feel will better promote the association. In this day and age when Canada is, is threatened um, as far as uh, its unity and everything, I feel that it's an, our attempt to bring Canada together again. And, and uh, for me, it, it makes me feel proud to be a Canadian with Canadian attached to our chuck wagon name as well. The name change, uh, you know, the Canadian in the world has got to mean a lot more than uh, the Northern. Um, maybe it'll help bring out some of the bigger bigger shows like uh, Lloyd Minster the last two years now, and uh, hopefully we can build like Saskatoon, Red Deer, them kind of shows. Family, I think, is the one thing that holds everything together. When you're going down the road with the same people year after year for the summer months and, and, and then seeing them at other times of the year and that, it, it just makes you realize how close you are to these people and everything and though everyone is competing you know for themselves and that sort of thing too it's almost the glue that keeps every everybody together and that it's a lot of different things i think it's a great family sport um, it's a sport that uh, generates uh, fans from all different generations and and you, your grandfather was a fan, your dad was a fan, you're a fan. Uh, your dad remembers and your grandpa remembers the Alan Benz Millers and the Alan Smiths racing. And, and then now they see the Kurt Benz Millers and, and they see the Jamie Labacanes and they see the Chance Benz Millers. They see all those, the, the grandsons of those grandfathers. So those generations of drivers turns into a generation of fans. Just number one, you go back to the camp and you see the young kids being part of it, like they're working around the barns, they're working around the horses, and I think the younger generation of, of people watching this see this thing, and they just kind of see that it's family oriented, and you like you see in all the drivers, like there's father son drivers, father son outriders, and it's just that family thing, and it just seems like everybody follows, and it just carries on from there. Through the years, the CPCA has seen a number of changes in the sport race modifications, equipment, and adjustments. But the thrill of the finals has remained. Four thoroughbred horses powering down the track, pulling a covered wagon, its driver, and of course, the stove. The Outriders in hot pursuit, hoping they can get to the finish line in time for a clean and fast run. The fans cheering and the clocks ticking. The drivers are hollering and the thoroughbreds are running. The track, the money, the championship title, and the glory. It's all on the line. The changes, like in the last 20 years, you just see the quality of the racing a lot better, and then that has a lot to do with that, uh, like the health equine part of the horses, where they focus a lot on the horses and, and to show the care and attention that they get. I, I still think the key one is the safety issues and that, like um, through the years, a lot of good has been done in that area. Chuck wagon racing is unique because there there has been some changes uh, uh, more equipment wise in the wagons. The wagons are not a lot. I, I guess they're built differently now. Uh, but when it comes down to it, if you look at the old races from from back from Alan Benzmiller to now Jamie Labacane, the only thing that's really changed is is more. It's more money. Uh, you have to. You know, compete money-wise, you have to compete and bring in the thoroughbreds and the horses have changed. But when it comes down to it, it's four horses, two outriders, a stove, and let's go. We've seen better horses. They look to be bigger than they used to be and matched outfits. And the track is really good. Lloyd Minster's really well done. It's good sound track. He can rain for two days and the next day he can be racing on. The exhibition grounds of Lloyd run a real good ship there, clean and tidy and well cared for. We enjoy going to the stockade, anything to do with exhibition grounds, we're very happy being there. Although we've had 25 years of finals, few can call themselves champions. Brian Labacane. Ray Mitzwing. Bert Crotto. Wayne Knight. Larry McEwen. 
Neil Wajimbaugh. Ver Nolan. Gary Gorse. And Devin Mitswing. I guess my favorite moment with the crowd, it was kind of a sad moment, but yet, uh, you know, pretty special is in 2014 when I retired. You know, and uh, the kind of the send off that get, gave me into retirement and uh, you know what, it, what Lloyd X did for me at at the finals that you know at the end of that year at the last day there and with the with the crowd that was probably the most special you know one of the first memories I have uh, of here is you know the first time dad won the the championship in 93 and I remember my pink my pink t-shirt my brown cowboy hat going up on stage with dad and and uh, accepting that award with him and you know what um, there's not many people who have done as much for this sport as him. My uh, best crowd moment was last year uh, when I won the truck and, uh, and the crowd all went crazy when I came through on the rail. I think that had been the, the, the best one of them all. And the final heating solutions home stretch drive has begun. Uh, look at this Ray Mitzwing coming at him from the inside in a three wagon race to the wire and they are headed to that PWM steel finish line and Ray Mitzwing sneaks through with Sunridge Arby, Jamie Labacane and Chris Molly right neck and neck at the wire and Todd Baptiste rolls in to be four. From 1992 to present, the CPCA finals have rallied on the support of both their fans and sponsors. For a quarter of a century, we're lucky to have support from Paradise Hill Valley Farm Supply, Valley Sea Construction, Clean Right Dry Cleaners, City Center Auto Body, and New Cap Broadcasting. Well, again, it's one a show like this can't be put on without sponsorship, and basically we've got some very loyal ones, right from your small heat sponsors right up to your major sponsors, your corporate sponsors. It's phenomenal, and like you said, I think we've got half a dozen long term that have been here for 25 years, and uh, yeah, without them, again, the show, show wouldn't go on. We acknowledge many who have been here from the start, through thick and thin good times and bad, through the sun and the rain. We appreciate your dedication. We couldn't have made it the 25 years without you. We recognize in 25 years we lose as well. We tip our hats to those we have lost along the way. I've taken real pride in seeing how this industry has grown, how these races have grown, and how supportive this is to both the Canadian Professional Chuck Wagon Association, the community and region of Lloydminster, and what it's done for our association. I believe we've helped put this industry on the map with running the best finals that this area has seen. Like I said, I've always been part of it. I've loved it, the sport, the Chuck Wagon. I love the people. I can basically get along with everyone. and. Uh, I had good visions of getting up there to 25 years and I'm very happy that we've made it to this level. Now the next step is what do we keep doing to keep improving it and like I said if the CPCA keep, can do in their part to improve, well we want to be right behind them and, and improving the show that much better. So it's, uh, I think long term I think we're okay for the next little while. This year marks 25 years of the CPCA Finals in Lloydminster at the Lloydminster Exhibition Grounds. It's been a hell of a ride. Thanks to all those who contributed to the event's success. We look forward to many more races at Halstead Downs. <laughs>